What's going on YouTube viewers? This is Henry Mr. Dragon coming at you with another video going out here in the awesome day of Monday. With my dog Cookie here. Hey hello Cookie. Is she a card? Anyway, today we're going to do some piston, kung fu piston workouts. Well, basically, a kung fu piston workout, you see those people doing them all short movies. They do with their, uh, their leg out and they go down and they come back up. Well, today I want to show you some workouts that's going to help out with that. Basically, it's called a piston squat or at least a kung fu piston squat. It helps out with your quads, your quints, and your lats, and also works out your hamstrings as well, especially the top part of your hamstrings. Now, what I want to do is going to show you this one technique, which we're going to do after this intro. First, for a piston, uh, piston squash, you got to work on both sides. So what you can do is keep your leg up like this, and once you go down, you can actually hold it like this, and go down, then come back up. Or you can actually do it like this. If, you, if you're a beginner, which basically you are, what you're learning, it's best to keep your foot out like this, and then go down. And it's okay if your foot touches the ground a couple of times because you're trying to get used to it. So, foot like this, I'm about to go down, Keeping my center balance straight down. So go down, 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 without letting my foot touch the ground. And now I'm into this stance. Try to keep my balance. And then come back up. Work on that both sides. Now, normally I do like at least 10 a day. Or at least basically to, if you're used to this, if you're new to this stuff, I would say work to the best of your ability. That means how many can you do? If you do, if you do at least three or four, over to this side without touching your legs, without touching your hands, and count to 10. One, two, three, four, or at least 30 seconds. Like this, and the other side, without touching the ground. It stretches out your hands. Alright, without touching the ground. And when we go up to here, we're going to go to the middle, but at the same time, for 30 seconds each for these things. So that way your hamstrings get the best workout. And now we're going to lean to this side. Push out this way. And then go to the other side. And push out that way. Again, 30 seconds each. Alright, now for you to actually do this too, you also gotta work out the top part of your legs. It's basically up here. You gotta work out this part. So what I would recommend is that you actually try doing like find like a post, anything you can to let like prop your foot up to help you get a better angle so when you hold your leg up like this, you can just stretch out like this. Whew. And, or maybe you could, if you don't have a post, it's okay. Go down to the ground, go down to your foot and pull your chest to your knee. Don't pull your head to your knee, pull your chest to your knee so that way you can stretch out your hamstrings as best as you can. Without bending your leg. Do that for both sides. Now, once you got used to doing all that stuff, do that every single day you work or you wake up. Do that every time you train, you stretch yourself. Remember, stretching helps out a lot. It, it stretches out your muscles, it warms you up. Also, do your stretches before and after your workouts, just to keep that in mind. So, what we're gonna do for this one is that when we're doing a piston, or at least a kung fu, um, the piston squats, and make sure that your hands are not like um, touching anything or holding anything. Make sure your feet is up like this, and once you get used to it, you can hold your foot and go down to a physical squat without letting it touch the ground. This is like another way you can actually do it. And then you come back up, holding your foot. And that's a couple piston squat. Now practice that at least 10 times. At least do like at least one rep. If you can't do like, uh, if you do more than that one rep than doing that stuff, then that's good. But if you, if you want my advice on this, I would say you at least do at least 10 a day. And then work your way up to 20. If you can do 10 easily, go up to 20. If you do 20, 30. More than merrier. And plus, once you get used to doing that, you can do a piston squat without holding your foot. You 
can do it on both legs too. You can do it on your right leg. Ah, sorry. Bruh. Yeah, so kind of. That was that fail. Let me try that again. Come back up. Left leg. Ah, bruh. I can't really do it on my left leg right now. I'm making a bad impression right now. So forgot to mention, try doing this too, to stretch out your hamstring some more. Do both legs, to work it out. Just knead the chest repeatedly. And after that, that's pretty much it. Now, if you guys have not already subscribed to my channel, if you guys not have already liked, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Also, share this video with your friends. Also, put down in the comments of what other um, techniques and workouts you want to you learn. You know, I'm always up here to learn for you with you guys. And, and plus, I'm learning with you. I mean, I already know how to do this stuff. If you guys have any uh, advice to give me, then go ahead and put that down in the comments. Also, follow me on my social media links. And, uh, oh yeah, and uh, if you want to see any of my previous videos, go ahead and click on this screen. And also, if you guys want to go ahead and see uh, uh, the easier way for you to actually subscribe to me, right here near my chest right here <laughs> i put it right through here but anyway other way uh that's about it for today i hope you guys have a nice day have a nice monday have a beautiful blessed day i'll see you guys later peace ha yeah, yeah.